here to try in the hopes of finding our idol. Um, we saw a few pics last night of him here and we just thought that maybe it would be finally our chance to um, give him a big hug because I think that's all he needs right now, a warm hug from the people that always be there for him and the people that will always support him. In terms of the question about parents being concerned of whether or not they should um, worry that their child is really idolizing Justin Bieber or any other celebrity, sort of without thinking about it, I, I don't think it's so concerning. And the reason being is two things. I think one is human nature and the other is typical adolescent behavior. So we as humans tend to really idolize the people who are either celebrities or who we really like, and sometimes to a fault, to the point that we can't even see their flaws or we choose not to see their flaws. I will always be there for, to support him. Like, he can totally count on his believers to be there for him. In order to figure out whether or not you should be concerned as a parent about your child's decision-making process in relation to the Bieber incident, I really think you have to think about how your child thinks and the kinds of decisions that they make. If you have an adolescent who makes good choices and good decisions, maybe the Bieber event wasn't a big deal to them. If you have a child or an adolescent who may be influenced by peer pressure or other things, this may actually be a big deal. And I think that a good example is if your adolescent is into risky behavior, this incident with Justin Bieber may have legitimized certain behaviors for them. If you have an adolescent who's not into those behaviors, again, it's not an issue for them, but it should still be talked about. It's important as a parent to really know and be cognizant of who your child is idolizing. I know he did break some laws, and I think like it's, it's only right that the police do, like it's their job to like um, catch the people that do break the laws. and. It's only fair for all of us as human beings that we do have to follow the laws and it is important for him to recognize that he did break the laws and I'm sure he did realize after all this that's happened that he did break the laws. Obviously, this girl is mature in her thinking, and the reason why is she's able to separate the behavior of someone she likes, maybe her idol, with how she actually feels about him. This does take mature decision making and shows that she has good judgment, limited impulsivity, and is able to really think about how she feels and separate certain things. I am concerned for his safety. I am scared, too. Like, I'm worried. I want him to be safe, and I want him to be happy, and... At times it's hard for him to find himself in a safe place and happy place, but he can, like again, like as I said, he can always count on his believers and will always be there for him no matter what. So the thing that I haven't heard anyone talk about yet is the fact that Justin Bieber is an adolescent. He's 19 years old. An adolescent brain doesn't mature fully until anywhere between the age of 20 to 25. And part of our brain that I'm talking about controls insight, judgment, decision making, reasoning, as well as impulsivity. And I think it gives us a better understanding of what's going on in terms of he's really being thought of as an adult and I don't think he is an adult. I don't know him personally, but this is typical adolescent behavior. And I also think it will help us understand why so many adolescents who support him and adore him also maybe are impulsively supporting him no matter what he does. Hopefully he learns from the mistakes he has made because that's the only way you can actually learn from the stuff. Life is like a huge roller coaster and the mistakes that you make is what teaches you and what helps you know what you're doing wrong and right. So the Bieber incident that occurred last week is an excellent teaching moment. And the reason for that is, is it's a great way to communicate with your family. And so I wanna give some tips on that. And the first is just that, communicate. Communicate openly and honestly about what happened. And then hopefully you and your family can have an open discussion about this. And your teenager may even come back at some point and discuss other issues with you because they're comfortable to do so. The next one is be aware. Know who your adolescent is idolizing and who they like. Do you like them? How do you feel about them? These are important things for you to know. And the last one is stay connected. Be up to date on your news and your celebrity gossip. And the reason for this is hopefully you'll understand the incidents that occur before your adolescent does. And if not, at least you'll be aware of them. Justin, I love you so much. Don't let anyone put you down. Believers are always there to pick you up. And don't forget that. We love you.